Hey, and welcome to this video for the Easy File Renamer. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can use this software to rename files on your computer. So once you open the software, you'll notice that there are a few different tabs here. There's a Rename tab, a Move tab, and a Copy tab. On the left-hand side, you're going to also see that there's a number of different rules you can pick from. In addition to that, you can see you have the option to either add individual files, or you can also click on the bubble next to adding files from a folder if you want to add a bunch of files into this list here. We're going to go ahead and just choose the Files option and click on Add Files. Now once you've navigated to the folder that has all the files that you would like to add, go ahead and select those files and then click on the Open button. Now you can see here that all those files are going to populate in your list. So you'll notice here that there's an option to edit MP3 ID3 tags. So if we click on the MP3 ID3 tags here, you'll notice that the software has a bulk tag editor. So this is really useful if you have a bunch of MP3 files that don't have tag information already populated. So if you're trying to update the artist or album for a bunch of MP3 files that you have and maybe that information is not already populated within those files, you can do that all at once. Now before we do that, we're going to look at some of the general features here under the Files tab. And over here, let's go ahead and look at these rules. So the first thing we could select here is New Name. In the Name field here, I can go ahead and give these files all a different name and click on Enter and click on Add Rule. And you can see that the item new name here is going to appear. So whatever name you give it, it's going to populate in order and it's going to automatically number the files as well. So another thing you can do here is you can give your files a suffix or a prefix. So a good use of this would be if you're trying to add the artist name to uh, a group of different mp3 files you have, for example, you could go ahead and use that prefix function. I'll just put in an example here and click on Add Rule. Here you can see it's going to add that prefix to these item names here. Now you can play around with all kinds of different rules that you'd like to add into your list here, uh, but you can see that you can actually delete those very easily by clicking on the red X button next to any of the rules that you don't want. If you want to delete all the rules, just click on this little delete button here, and that's going to get rid of all of those rules that you've already added. Next feature here is the Remove Text button. So if there's a particular word that you want to remove from all the different MP3 files that you have, you can just put in that uh, specific word that you'd like to remove here. And then once you've entered in a selection here, go ahead and click on Add Rule. So that's going to remove whatever word you put in here from your item name. Now again, keep in mind as I'm doing this here, what you're seeing is an item name and an item new name. So here's the old name, what the file was originally named, and here you can see that each time I'm making an adjustment, it's going to show you the new name of the file as it will appear once you make the changes. So if I wanted to go ahead and push these changes to the file on my PC, all I have to do is go down here and click on the Rename button, and it's going to rename each of these files here that I already have on my computer to the names that you'll see here on this right-hand side. I'm going to go ahead and remove this option here. So there are a few more rules that we can play around with here, but uh, all these are going to essentially do the same thing. All you have to do is just choose uh, what you're wanting to modify from the file name, and it's going to allow you to easily do that with all the files uh, from whichever folder that you select. Now let's go ahead and go back to that MP3 ID3 tags option here. And let's go ahead and click on the plus MP3 files. We're going to go ahead and select these files again and click on open. All right, now if we click on the bulk tag editor, you can see that there are some useful options here that we can choose from. We can go ahead and update all this information across all the files in my list if I'd like to. And all I have to do is enter the information that I want to populate. So we can go ahead and enter our artist here, an album, year, and genre. Another thing you can do is you can also add an album image to each of those files if you'd like. Otherwise, click on Update once you've entered the correct information. And you can see here that the artist field's now been filled for each of these files. A new album name, the year has been filled in, and the genre. So depending on where you've retrieved your MP3 files, this can be extremely useful for being able to uh, add in missing information from your mp3 files. You can see here some other options are included as well, so you can actually load files from iTunes. Okay, so now that we've looked at how we can modify our mp3 id3 tags, let's go ahead and go back to files, and let's go ahead and look at one of these other tabs here. So under the move tab here, you can see that we're going to be able to move all these files to a new location, and to do that all we have to do is go down to the bottom and click on this little icon here, Navigate to the folder that you would like to move the files to, and once you've made your selection, go ahead and click on OK. 
Now once you click on that move button, it's going to ask you if you'd like to start the operation. If you click on yes, it's going to move those files for you and you can see here are the stats of the files that I've moved. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Those files will then clear from the list that you see here. And here in my file explorer you can see that they've been moved to this new test folder that I created. Now in the copy tab it's going to be the same process. The only difference here is instead of physically moving the files from the location that you originally had, uh, it's going to just make a copy of those files to whatever folder that you choose down here. And finally just to demonstrate again here are the files that I had originally uh, opened up and I'm going to go ahead and just show you the process of renaming them. So after you've played around with the rules here and you wanted to uh, rename them to something different here, I'm just going to go ahead and in this case add a numbering rule. All you have to do is click on the rename option here, click on yes again, and it's going to rename all those files. And once you open up your folder here, you can see that the files have been physically renamed in the folder that they're located. All right, and that's all there is to it. That's just a quick look at how you can use the Easy File Renamer to rename files on your PC, modify MP3 ID3 tags, and much more. That's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.